This is what my 150 mile per hour plus Arma Limitless currently looks like. And I'm going to show you exactly what happened in just a minute. But I wanted to tell you a story about this car first. It wasn't always this fast. For the last 10 months, I've been making this car faster and faster. It started out with the combo that all Arma 6S ready to run cars come with. And it was definitely a challenge, but I was able to push this car to 103 miles per hour. Woo! And if you want to check out that bid, I'm going to leave a link to it up there or there. I don't know which one though. But then I ran a TP4050 2300 kV motor and a Castle XLX setup. And this was my first time putting in a powerful motor and ESC in my speed car. After months of trial and error, I got this car to 126 miles per hour on 6S, which I was super stoked about. And unfortunately, that was actually the last pass of the season. So during the winter, I decided to put in a monster motor and finally run the car on 8S. And my first full 8S pass, the car went 145 miles per hour, which absolutely crushed my previous record. Oh, and speaking of crushed, make sure you guys crush that like button faster than my car. <laughs> kind of lame, but do it. Put the shadows down there. That was a pass. I can't exit. Oh, 145. Let's go. <laughs> the next time out, the car went 150 miles per hour. Hundred fifty miles an hour. I was finally going fast, especially for an open wheel limitless. And for perspective, the world record for an open wheel limitless is currently held by James McCoy at 159 miles per hour. I've been setting personal best after personal best with this car, jumping by 10 to 20 miles per hour at a time. And everything seemed to be going my way. And after all these wins, my confidence level was at an all time high. But that's when things took a turn for the worst. Oh! There were a couple of issues with this pass, but by far my biggest mistake was running between traffic. Something I've never done before. There. And let's get out there. How fast are you going to go? A decent way. Sorry? No, more. I was As you can see, the run starts a bit shaky, and that's because I was on the throttle way harder than usual, and I was roasting the tires. So I pedaled it, so to speak, and I stayed in it. The car passes us at an insane speed, and I end up hitting 154 miles per hour, which would have been a new PB for me, but unfortunately, my depth perception got all screwed up, and when I saw the pickup truck, I thought I was going underneath it, and I got scared that I was gonna cause an accident, and I didn't wanna get my car run over, so I ended up bailing on the run, unfortunately, right into a strip of guardrail. Seeing the car I've been pushing for so long, bent like a taco, was crushing. And I knew I had just made a costly, costly mistake. Going this fast with an RC car is literally pushing the limits of what's possible. 20 horsepower in a car that weighs 15 pounds is absolutely insane. But it's not all power, and power is not everything. 
adjusting the suspension, adjusting camber, balancing the car, figuring out the right diff fluid, finding the right wheels, and so much more. But with all that being said, speed is definitely an addiction. And guys, I will be back. And I promise you, I promise you, I will be faster. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.